Welcome to the resubmission briefing information. So, you didn't get the grade that you were looking for and I've invited you to resubmit your assignment. Here's the deal. This is round 2.1. You have an opportunity to resubmit your assignment. All resubmissions are capped at a maximum of distinction, 14 points. So this is open to anyone who has scored less than 14 points. It is due on the Monday morning of the first week of the mid Esther break. Uh, I say the Monday morning because you really want this off your schedule, but realistically, if it's in my possession on the Monday, it counts. If you are thinking about doing the resubmission, uh, there's a couple of things you need to know. The timing is roughly a week to turn around, looking at the feedback you've received, making changes and resubmitting. It's still roughly the same word length. But of course, you're going to have a cover page, uh, change log page at the front. So your little turn it in counter is going to tell you a different number from the reality. Your assignment's still roughly the same length as it was, but you will have additional words at the front of it. This is like the trade-off. In order to access the uh, resubmission, you've got to do a couple of things for me. The reason I make this available. First of all, this is about the internet. Working the grad learning in the internet, one of the biggest things that, that exists is the version 2.1, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, iteration and recovery, downloadable content to expand and bug patches to fix. This is just something we do. It's a nature of the business. So the result wasn't where you want it to be. Fix it. Take the feedback, run with it, repair it and release a bug. This is a bug patch. This is a patch notes required upgrade to your first assignment. So what you're going to do and what's required is on that first page or pages, depending on how much feedback I gave you, you're going to recap the feedback and the recommendations I made. Now I've given you three minutes of audio and I've given you some written material react to that, respond to that, make changes. The pages that follow, the you so the sequence I would recommend you do is make the changes, do the revised essay, then write up the change log, submit it as a single document, change log first, assignment second. One thing to be aware of is that when you are submitting you'll be two weeks of operation or time will have elapsed, so if you had any short deadlines uh, you can still be acting towards them. You can still be producing content for your project. You can still be chasing that dream. The big thing is to ensure that if you have not had deadlines, if you're one of the things I'm sending you back for is that your objectives weren't timetabled, think about how many weeks you've got left and make certain your timetabling fits the temporal resource you've got left at your disposal. Now in terms of addressing the feedback, it's basically up to you how you change log it. Uh, but probably the most important thing is make certain you make the changes. If you tell me, oh, I've added references, and you don't, geez, it's going to go bad for you. So don't bluff me. Support me. I'm giving you a chance to have another go at this. So I'm, one of the things about it is I'm also giving you a chance to learn a technique. You pick up a bonus skill set here, and that's the change log. The other thing, just quickly, uh, is the expectations on you are still the same as they were in the original specification. So go back and have a look at the specification document for the ETA. Places where people had the most challenge were in the technology overview or in the game plan. Go back and have a look. Definitely. One of the other things is I threw a bunch of references in to support your project. They are not required, it's not compulsory for you to now go and integrate those into the paper. If you find them to be useful and you want to, you can. Ace, no pressure. But they're not a compulsory element. So, if you have any questions about what's expected of you, um, if you want additional feedback, if you want to just talk through how it managed to go from what you thought 
was going to be a good essay to the score you got. I'm available in additional consultation times in week six over the email and as the usual social media platforms. But basically, make certain that you give yourself the opportunity if you want to take it. You can turn it down. You can walk away and say, no, I'll just take the, I'll bank the grade as it is. But be aware that if you don't have a distinction, then your opportunity for the power play becomes much harder. You need to be averaging a distinction in order to access the power play at the week 12. But of course, if you don't want the power play either, then you're fine. You can just say, all right, thank, thanks for the feedback, mate. Uh, I'll take the points and I'll go. So up to you, your decision. Process is in by week six. Give me a track changes give me tell me what you did tell me the change log tell me and make those changes and if you need me reach out and contact me